my first question to to the doctor my wife is 5 months pregnant will i be able to see my son i am fazli alahi rubel i am from bangladesh i'm here in singapore for 14 almost 15 years now 2009 september i ca- i came to singapore my family was in very very much uh, in debt and financial crisis so i decided to end my study i just finished my college i didn't enroll to the university in a young age of 19 years old come to singapore and take the responsibility of my whole family in my hand so that's very tough decision so the all the agencies in in bangladesh they display all the nice uh, nice places photo dream dream city singapore all these things i feel like if as long as i go there i will like i will have so much money and i will, i can solve all the problem in my family soon after i arrive here i realized that i put in a 20 20 foot container 10 beds 10 of us living in a small container while we pass another person cannot move so like one person pass then another person can move like that i was told by agent that i would be given an electrician job and then i was given here a con I main con and cleaning carrying things uh, very hard and then at night i buy the move ointment and apply on my back and my sh- shoulder because of pain and then i realize i am i am in a battle and I, there is no retreat i cannot retreat because everybody else is waiting for for me to send money home so they can uh, eat So uh, after I study some courses and then I promote to supervisor position I start to stop applying the ointment on my back and my shoulder <laughs> when i was free i started to have a free time i started to explore outside the singapore and i met some of the some of the event and some of the ngos from there i understand okay i can do something here i have uh, initiated a library in my village before i come to singapore when i was in the college so i thought why not we started uh, again here so i approached some of the ngos here and they agreed to allow us to set up in their premises beside the library i also initiated a cultural show migrant cultural show singapore i don't see people by the, their, their race and religion but as a human so this ideology actually bring, uh, bring me to think of bringing everyone into the single platform so we have understanding among different nationalities and different cultures i find a venue personally i paid it from my pocket and then i publish in news uh, in my facebook wall <laughs> first show was a hit because we have almost 80 overs performers and we have a um, overwhelming support from the communities i had some uh, pain in the colon some fever strong fever fever a uh, pain when i do the when i pass urine okay. so i thought it's a normal pain i try to take medicine but after one week it is still not going away is a sudden shock my first question to to the doctor my wife is 5 months pregnant will i be able to see my son the next day we see the surgeon and the surgeon say 
give me the good news he said it is uh, treatable it is still in that early stage we operate and do the preventive chemo i found a job which is currently i'm doing which is uh, almost 1000 less than my previous job but i still decided to stay because i have to continue my treatment after i joined this company after one month i go for follow up check up i received the result that it was uh, my liver was affected by the cancer so colon cancer had spread to liver and i didn't inform my my boss the current boss because of the trauma that i gone through the previous company i did chemotherapy and work at the same time i did surgery on july last year 25% of my liver has been removed i have a ct scan and it shows that my cancer had spread to many parts of the liver lung also the bones there might be have some treatment which is very strong then i ask her how much time i have if i don't do anything she say maybe 3 to 6 months so i just take it as a 3 to 6 month time so i decided to go back home spend time with my family the rest of my life if i know i will die next month and by spending 100000 or 50000 dollars maybe i spend one one more year i will choose next month because this 100000 maybe the all of my family will have for 15 years i am serving my family without a break i keep my family like this i am the shield now i have to ask other person to take care of my son this is the most toughest thing i have to do in my life if we are aware of the system we can change the system to build more inclusion more acceptance of the migrant workers into our community we can build the bridges between the migrant workers and the local communities i would love singapore more singaporeans to make the first step to build friendship and inclusion of migrant workers and acceptance especially i so much grateful to these people those who helped me to go through all these difficult times i will never forget forget them and i think this city i i have been loved by this city and its people at the same way i loved this city and its people